Hey Canucks fans, a bit of surprising news. Jonah Gadjevich is no longer a Vancouver Canuck as he was claimed off waivers by the San Jose Sharks. Now I vlogged about this yesterday and I predicted that Gadjevich would indeed pass through waivers and get to the Abbotsford Canucks organization. He played very well with Utica last year, but the San Jose Sharks had other plans in claiming the forward off of the waiver wire. No other players actually uh, were claimed. That includes ex-Canuck Cole Lind, who was waived by Seattle, likely to get them, uh, get him to their junior team, uh, their, their HL affiliate, I should say. But with Gadjevich, he was the 55th overall pick in the 2017 draft. The second round, the second pick of the second round for the Canucks. That was the year where they actually took PD fifth overall. Then they took Cole Lind at the top of the second round. And then Jonah Gadjevich at the bottom of that second round. So a decent, you know, three decent players, you think, in the first two rounds for the Vancouver Canucks. But now only one of them is, is remaining. And it's the one that I vlogged about earlier. PD making his debut tonight against Edmonton. So with Gadjevich, I think... <laughs> Anytime you lose, say, someone in, in, you know, with that high of a draft pedigree, on one end you could say that is a big loss and you wish you could have uh, either developed him better, you wish you could have worked out better or at least recouped assets for him instead of losing him for free technically. But on the other hand, if he doesn't plan to be in, in the... Or, in the, in the Canucks future plans, if he doesn't look like he's going to be a mainstay, then how much are you really losing? So it's tough to say. I think a lot of people are going to be upset that the Canucks lost Gadjevich for free, especially given that he was a second, uh, you know, a second rounder, and that he actually showed some promise. I, I think he had a really good training camp, but then uh, preseason, I can't remember if we got into only one or two games, didn't really show much. And he always seemed to be on the outside looking in uh, when it came to the battle for a fourth line spot. Despite the fact that he lost a lot of weight, he improved his skating. I think well, because he was so behind, I, I think that only brought him to close to equal footing with everyone else as opposed to shooting them ahead if that makes sense. So, But there are going to be people who are going to be upset that the Canucks lost Gadgets for free. There are going to be other people that say, um, you know, I, I, he had a chance to make his impression here and if the Canucks think they have other players of that ilk um, that can be better contributors to this club going forward, then it's really not a big of a loss. So I'm really interested, Canucks fans, in how you feel about this move. Again, the San Jose Sharks claiming Gadgevich off waivers. San Jose's a dog's breakfast, especially with their, their bad team last year, the Evander Kane saga, and so many other things. Uh, well, not so many other things. They're just not a really good team right now. They didn't really rebuild properly after they lost a lot of their veterans, yet they're still sinking $30 million a year or close to it, it seems like, in Carlson and Burns on the on the back end. Not great goaltending, inconsistent forward. So that's why San Jose is so bad. So we'll see if Gadjevich gets a, um, an opportunity to make the big club or if they've claimed him to hopefully put them put him on their AHL affiliate. Regardless, um, Jonah Gadjevich, no longer a member of the Vancouver Canucks, would love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Big loss or not much of a loss. Again, tonight, 10 p.m., live stream, after, about an hour and a half after the game ends. Hope you join me here for some thoughts on PD and Hughes' first game with the Canucks in the preseason. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. Have a great day. God bless, and go Canucks go.